Bailey, he's the head of the Barkley House. Agnes Barkley is his devoted and loving spouse. They've got kids, Terry Roger and Chester too. And all of them are Barkleys through and through. Cause they're the Barkleys and they're okay. And Arnie Barkley with a very open mind is always first to let you know his own opinionated ways. But even though he may grumble and get up tight, just remember Arnie Barkley's bark is worse than his bite. Spend a Sunday. Yeah, I wanted to spend the day just lying around. Some chance. Only two things lie around this place on Sunday. Leaves and paw. All right, where in the heck is that sports section? Agnes! Agnes, have you seen my sports section? I think you lined the garbage pail with it, Mom. Oh, dear. Hey, you're right, Terry. I see an orange peel and a football team. I'm sorry, dear. I used it to line the garbage pail. What? <laughs> Give me that. Here, line the garbage pail with this. It's the society section. Uh, don't you want to read it? You've got to be kidding. Oh, Arnie. Now what? Didn't you go to school with the Sammy Schnauzer? Yeah, I went to school with him. <laughs> he was a dopey little pest. I couldn't stand him. I was glad when he moved out of town. Well, it says in the paper that he just moved back into town. Oh, yeah? Well, he better not call me. He's a real loser. And not according to the paper, dear. Uh, look, Terry. Mr. Sammy Schnauzer has moved into a luxurious penthouse with his wife and daughter. It says he's a self-made millionaire. Millionaire? Mr. Schnauzer is now one of the wealthiest men in the nation. My dear old pal, Sammy Schnauzer. Good old Sammy, my closest friend. But you said you couldn't stand him. I couldn't stand him being out of town. Hey, look, his daughter Elsie is Roger's age. I'll have to arrange for them to meet. Roger's old enough to pick out his own girls, dear. Yeah, but he isn't smart enough to pick out a millionaire. If he married her, he wouldn't have to work for the rest of his life. Phew. Mowing the lawn's hard work. From now on, son, you'll have servants to mow the lawn. Huh? Don't say huh. Say, what is it you're referring to, sir? And take your hands out of your pockets. Straighten up. You're about to enter society. Poor Roger. I have the feeling he's in for a hard time. I have a feeling we're all in for a hard time. <laughs> Elsie Schnauzer, huh? Looks kind of snobby to me. That's how society people are supposed to look. Believe me, my boy, I know what's best for you. And there's nothing better for my son than a millionaire's daughter. She's a millionaire? Gosh, I'll marry her. <laughs> You're too young, Chester. You're still a half pint. So I'll be half a millionaire. Well, I don't want to marry a girl just because she's wealthy. Right, Dad. When a person marries, it should be for love. Naturally. And who doesn't love money? First, I've got to think of a way for you two to meet. I can't phone Schnauzer after all these years. It might seem uh, obvious. Hmm. There's got to be some way to do it. A uh, Barney. Quiet, I'm thinking. I've got to arrange it so the meeting will seem uh, accidental. Yeah. <laughs> I'll say one thing for you, dear. You're good at accidents. Very funny. I think I'll watch some TV. And now for the garden news. Chester, turn that thing off. One of the sponsors of today's flower show is debutante Elsie Schnauzer. Elsie Schnauzer? Turn that on. You told me to turn it off. 
The flower show will be at the municipal auditorium at two. Now for the... That's it. Roger will meet Elsie at the flower show. But, Dad, I don't want to meet Elsie. And I don't want to go to the flower show. Of course you don't. <laughs> Not the way you're dressed. Come on, you gotta change. <laughs> Welcome to the flower show, Mrs. Vandermutt. Oh, how do you do, Mrs. Dogwood? Good afternoon, Mrs. Houndbox. Now, be honest, Roger. Aren't you glad I talked you into coming? Okay, Dad, I'll be honest. I only came along to prove to you that this is no way to meet a girl. Well, you're here now, so come on. And that will be ten dollars, please. Ten dollars? To see some flowers? We can see them in the park for nothing. And then go to the park. Yeah, Dad, let's go to the park. We're going in here. <laughs> it's worth ten bucks to make a million. Wow, look at all the flowers. You better watch your hay fever, Dad. Forget my hay fever. And let's look for Elsie. I hope your rose wins first prize. It should. It took me 15 years of cultivation to develop this one perfect rose. Excuse me? But have you seen Miss Elsie? Yeah. Yeah. Has. Has. <laughs> My rose. Yeah. Has. Has. Oh, my tulips. Yeah. Hi, 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 My boogan veal! Oh, my head! Darn! Throw that man out! Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Quick, behind these bars! <laughs> That's funny, they were here a minute ago. Uh, 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 uh. Thanks, Roger. As All right, you, come out of there. There's a word for someone like you. Gesundheit? No, Hest. Come on, you're leaving. But my son's gonna meet Elsie Schnauzer. Miss Schnauzer's not here. Not here? She suddenly got a splitting headache. Oh, so did I. Hest! Arnie won't be in for work today, Mr. Airedale. Oh, is he sick? No, he's feeling fine, but his nose isn't. Oh, I can't help. Well, you tell Arnie not to worry about a thing, Mrs. Barkley. You tell him to relax, take it easy, and I'm docking him a day's pay. Dear, he's docking you a day's pay. What's money compared to my son's happiness? Shouldn't you forget about it, Dad? Look what it cost you. Ten dollars for the garden show, money for allergy medicine, a day's pay. Terry's right, Arnie. Do you know what'll happen if you keep this up? Yeah. Roger will have to settle for a cheaper wedding present. <laughs> I've got to think of another way for him to meet her. Back from your paper route so soon, Chester? Yeah, Mom. My old bicycle broke down. Oh, that's a shame. It's okay. I'll just buy a new one. Really? What are you going to use for money? Oh, that's no problem. I'll just go to the concert tonight, meet Elsie Schnauzer, and marry her. Concert? Tonight? Yeah. It says so in the paper. Let me see that. Among the notables attending the concert tonight will be Elsie Schnauzer. She'll be in box one in the Golden Circle. That's it! Roger! Roger! Roger, guess what? You're going to the concert tonight to meet Elsie Schnauzer. Concert? There goes my bicycle. You mean there goes my evening. I had a date tonight. Cancel it. But I can't. That must be Susan. Who's Susan? My date. You mean your former date. Hello. Hello, this is Susan. Is Roger there? No. Give me the phone, Dad. <laughs> you shouldn't have done that, Dad. Susan's my best girl. Son, you'll thank me for it later. It'll have to be later, because I'm sure not going to thank you now. Just get dressed.
What are you doing, sis? Shh. The rescue squad is here. We're going to help you keep your date with Susan. I don't know if it's all right to sneak out on Dad. Not normally, but when he breaks your date with a nice girl so you can marry somebody you don't even know, you've got a right. Thanks, sis. You're a real pal. Is the coast clear? Not a soul in sight. I'll bet Susan will be surprised to see me. Hurry up. I'm having trouble holding it. Let me help you. Thanks, Dad. Dad! I wish I could see Dad's face. Take a good look. Dad! Now get back up there and fast! Yes, sir! Well, Roger, this time you're bound to meet Elsie. I got your ticket in the same box. I'll wait for you here. Oh, you don't have to wait, Dad. I'll take the bus home. Oh, no. I'm not taking any chances on you sneaking out of the concert when I'm gone. Would I do such a thing? Yes. You're right. <laughs> That was a superb concert. Delightful. Hey, Dad. Mm -hmm. What? Come on. I want you to meet a sensational girl. Well, I told you you'd like Elsie Schnauzer. Oh, she couldn't make it, so she sent her maid. Look, isn't she some chick? <laughs> now, look. I didn't spend 70 bucks on a tux and tickets for you to fall for the maid. Now get in the car. But, Dad, she's a wonderful girl. She's got everything. Yeah, everything except money. <laughs> Dad, I promised her a ride. Oh, all right. How was the concert, dear? How was Elsie? How'd you like to be quiet? <laughs> Something tells me it was another disaster. Poor Roger. You are a disgrace to your uniform. You've got to meet Elsie before some other boy does. There's no time to lose. You've got to meet her tomorrow. But tomorrow's my day on the college newspaper. Cancel it. I can't. I'm the new reporter. Reporter? Perfect. Now go to her home and get an interview. Ask her what it's like to be the town's richest girl. Children, it's not polite to eavesdrop. Uh, what are they saying? Not a bad idea, Dad. But how do you know she'll grant me an interview? I've got it. I'll buy you a camera. A girl can't resist having a picture taken. Just as she can't resist listening to doors. <laughs> Gee, Dad, this camera's neat. Well, it should be. I bought it from a fellow at work. Cost me forty dollars. Forty dollars? Oh, Arnie. Money well spent if it gets to meet Elsie. Now get going, Rog. Yeah, I can't wait to take pictures with this. Take some pictures of money, so we'll all remember what it looks like. <laughs> Don't worry. This time he'll meet Elsie for sure. I sure hope nothing went wrong this time. There's Roger now. I never thought I'd be happy to hear the sound of his motorcycle. <laughs> well, what happened? Uh, I, uh, I got dozens of pictures, Dad. Great! How did you and Elsie hit it off? I, uh, I, I didn't see Elsie. Didn't see her? Then how could you take a picture? Well... I didn't exactly take her picture. I took pictures of her limousine. Her limousine? It was parked in front. What a car! But what about Elsie? Oh, the paper would rather have a picture of that car than just another girl. She's not just another girl. Wait a minute, Roger. I got a feeling you don't want to meet her. Am I right? You're right. And you're wrong. Your whole fortune's at stake. I can't let you throw it away. Oh, who are you calling, dear? Sammy Schnauzer. If I can't arrange a meeting without it being obvious, I'll be obvious. Uh, hello. 
Hello, Sammy. This is Arnie Barkley. Barkley, Barkley. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't... Uh... Yeah, Arnie Barkley, from school. Oh, yeah, Bonehead Barkley. <laughs> That's right, Bonehead Barkley. <laughs> bonehead? <laughs> Quiet, son of Bonehead. Uh, Sammy, and now that you're in town, I'd like to drop up with my family to see you. Uh, will Friday be convenient? No. Then we'll drop up Saturday. Uh, he can't wait to see us. <laughs> oh, I've never been to a penthouse before. Neither have we. Well, you'd better get used to it. The next penthouse we'll be going to will be Rogers. <laughs> Well, this is it. Wow, some place. Good afternoon. Uh, thank you, my good man. Here you are. Keep the change. Arnie, you're not supposed to tip a doorman. You're not? I should have left my coin changer at home. In any case, remember what I read you from this book of etiquette. Yes, Pop. Uh, it's not Pop. It's Papa and Mama. Got that? Sure, Pop. <laughs> now remember, you're about to meet society. Terry, will you fix your dress? Straighten your tie, Roger. Chester, smooth your hair. Sammy, my old pal! Oh, you came. Uh, well, come on in. <laughs> My wife, Margaret. My daughter, Elsie. Hello, I'm Agnes. I'm Terry. How do you do? I'm sure. Uh, Elsie, I want you to meet my handsome, brilliant, and charming son. Hi, Elsie. Get back. <laughs> Roger, this is Elsie. Hello. Uh, <clears throat> nice to meet you. I'm sure. <laughs> I don't think she likes me. Ridiculous. She's nuts about you. She's just shy. She's shy of few manners. Oh, my. You have a lovely penthouse. Oh, why, thank you, Mrs. Barkley. We'll have the same setup when Roger marries Elsie. <laughs> <laughs> He's always joking. I should certainly hope so. Well, Sammy, old pal, you sure did okay for yourself. Well, I have no complaints. Uh, how are things with you, Arnie? What business are you in? Uh, well, uh, I'm in the, uh, transportation game. And, oh, uh, uh, yes, um, uh, transportation. Oh, railroads or airlines? He drives a bus. Chester! <laughs> oh, my good bus! Huh? Uh-oh. <laughs> Sorry about that. Sorry? It was only a genuine Louis XIV. Now, don't you worry. I'll take it to Louis the Repairman on 13th Street. <laughs> Your father is dreadfully gauche. I don't know what gauche means, but if it means what I think it means, you'd better not mean it. Uh, Elsie, uh, uh, why don't you show Roger the pool? You have a pool? Wow! Oh, my! A pool on the roof! What'll they think of next? Boy, I sure wish I'd brought my swimsuit. Uh, I have some suits. Hey, great! I can't wait till I go in. I can't wait till he goes home. <laughs> Last one in to neck! I hope the neighbors don't see him. Watch this! <laughs> I, I believe he went off the roof. This pool's a little too deep for me. Oh, don't go away, Arnie. We'll save you. Give me your hand, Dad. I'll pull you back up. Oh, you clumsy oaks. You got me all wet. Gosh, Miss Elsie, I'm sorry. Here, let me dry you off. Stop it, you, you bus driver. Wait a minute, little Miss Snob. 
Dad might only be a bus driver, but he sure outclasses you in every way. Now, that's no way to talk to my daughter, young man. That's no way to talk to my brother. That's no way to talk to my husband. And that's no way to talk to my husband. And no, I you think you are. are. I, don't I, don't know. Know. Oh, I guess from now on, our two families aren't talking. <laughs> Well, I finally got to say hello to Elsie Schnauzer. <laughs> and goodbye to a million dollars. Well, money isn't important when it comes to choosing friends or getting married. Yeah, I know that now. Hey, Dad, can I borrow ten bucks? What for? I've got a date with Susan tonight. Here's a dollar. How come just a dollar? Because I don't want no fortune hunting girl marrying my son just for his money. <laughs> <laughs>